name is Olivia. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Makeup Fun with Olivia, and welcome to another schwa unboxing. For those of you that are not familiar with the schwa beauty subscription, you get five beauty samples. Um, you get to choose because schwa means choice in French, and you get to choose. They'll send you a little email, and you get to choose off of their website five high-end samples, and um, it costs twenty dollars per month. Um, I did forget to mention the last two months that in December I got a little email where they were having a sale and you could subscribe for the whole year and so it came out to about $10 per month and I was like, yes, sign me up! So I'm technically only paying $10 for these samples, but I think if you do month to month, then it is $20 per month. But it is so worth it for me because I don't have time sometimes to go out and shop. And I know you can get samples for free, but I love choosing, you know, on my own in front of my computer with no interruptions, no sidetracking, no trying to get me to buy the product. Um, and it comes to my door. So anyways, I love my Schwa subscription box. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention a missing key items in here because I do want to try them on as I go for you. Um, and also, as you know, I always do these in collaboration with my friend Michelle, Kansas Girl 1969. Please go check out her video as well because um, the link will be down below so you can go check out and see what samples she got for her uh, Schwa samples this month. Um, so, okay, so let's jump in. This is what the box looks like. It always comes with this, um, these little um, applicators. And I think I am gonna be using an applicator today. You'll see why in a moment. But um, this is the box and you slide this out. And these are the samples. So here are my five samples. And on the lid of the box, they always customize the label for you in case you forgot what you ordered, and I always do forget. Let's start off by the way it's listed here. So the first thing is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in Pussycat. And that would be, now usually they're lippies. They get the lipstick and they shave off a slice. Well, this time I noticed it's in this little pan, so let's take that out. The nice thing about their packaging, it's very hygienic, um, and also behind the little pans, you can, you know, they, they label it so that later on, if you forget what it was, um, you remember. So you lift this up, you take this out, and you remove that so this is what it looks like oh that looks pretty you know that's my color right there <laughs> okay and this is the one that i mentioned that i'm actually i don't have a lip pencil i've been wanting to get one so if anybody has a good suggestion on a good lip pencil let me know but for now we're going to use the applicator that they sent me i feel so naked you guys when i start out when I started off this video because I'm missing some key things that really make a difference in a face, you know, but I really wanted to, to do this. So let's do a little swatch first. See what it feels like and what it looks like. Oh, that looks nice. It feels uh, matte. Yeah, because it's a matte lippy, Olivia. <laughs> Tom Ford matte lippy. Not too long ago, I went shopping with a girlfriend of mine, and we went into, I think, was it Neiman Marcus? Um, which is way nice for me, but I enjoyed going in and just seeing their makeup counters, and I saw Tom Ford stuff, and I don't think I ever thought about buying Tom Ford, but for the first time in my life, when I saw them there in person, and I swatched a couple of the eyeshadows, I'm like, okay, let me try a few of the Tom Ford items. Here's a second layer on that. So let's let's try that. I'm excited. I hope you can see me. Let's see. <laughs> I have a mirror over here. For a matte lippy, it feels creamy, but not creamy like it's going to come off right away and not... It feels creamy in a matte kind of way. Very interesting. Wow. 
that doesn't feel dry at all, but it looks matte. Now I don't know if this is going to dry down, but right now, you guys know I have dry lips and so I'm a big lip balm junkie. This doesn't... Wow. I'm liking this. I might be in trouble, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into the next one, um, Chanel Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil. So that would be this one here. This is what the pencil looks like. Let's swatch it. And this is in the color. Did I say the color? Um, the color is number 40, and the color name is in French. It's Brun Sandre. Let's see if you can see this, if I can point it. Uh, right here. Brun, which means brown, cendre. And I think that's light. I'm forgetting my French, you guys. Okay, so let's use this eyebrow pencil. As you can tell, I did not do my eyebrows. Let me bring you down just a tad bit. I am about to run out of my Anastasia dip brow. Before YouTube, you guys, I never did my eyebrows, ever because I tried it once and I thought, oh my God, and I couldn't deal with it. I'm like, mm -mm, that's not a look I'm going for. But I have to say that as time went on, I decided to give it a try again. The Anastasia Dip Brow, like I said at first, I was like, oh my God. But if you figure out how to dip just enough and use the right brush, it makes such a difference on your face, you guys. So if you don't use an eyebrow pencil, and I know a lot of you do, but if you don't, Give it a try. At first, you won't like it. I can almost guarantee it because it's different to see your face in a way you, you're not used to seeing it, you know, with a dark eyebrow. Um, but you can go as light as you want. And later on, you won't be able to see your face without the eyebrow product. You, you find that it's missing because it really helps balance and shape your face. Okay, I'm really liking this. Chanel eyebrow pencil. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a brush. Okay, sorry, it's not clean. I'm back, but this is my Anastasia number 12 eyebrow brush. Now, I don't cut my eyebrows. I don't wax them. I'm very low maintenance. So it needs to be easy, otherwise I won't do it. <laughs> As some of you have heard me say in some of my other videos, I'm always on the run. Um, and I'm really liking how this pencil feels. It kind of feels like the dip brow in pencil form. Some pencils are really dry, and so when I try them, I really have to tug at it, or it just makes the thinnest of lines and I don't like it. Um, I think if you are missing some eyebrows, thin, Eyebrow pencils are really good because you can draw them in. I don't really draw them in. I just kind of fill in my eyebrows because I find that as I've gotten older, um, you know, they're not as bushy or thick as they used to be. What do you guys think? I really like this. It was so easy and so creamy. Let's see how the wear does. By the way, I will put my notes um, down below in the description box after using it for a few more days. I'll come back and put it in the description box in case you're curious to hear, like, what did she think about it? Okay, so the next one is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. So that's over here in this one. If I remember correctly, the lighter one is supposed, and I'm taking this off. The lighter one is supposed to make it look like you have a highlight, like it's daylight um, glow, kind of. And then the darker one is supposed to make it look like it's a candlelight glow. So, which one should I try, you guys? Let's do... It's the day, but I'm kind of scared to try that white one. They both look shimmery. I'm scared to try them both on now that I see them. Let's try the white one. Let's, let's be daring. I'm going to use this one. It's not my usual highlighting brush, but it's clean. I have to wash my other ones. Let's see. I'm afraid to put too much on it. 
Can you even see it? It almost um, feels like it looks, and it feels and looks actually like the hourglass ambient lighting. I think it's a little bit dimmer. Dimmer, not dimmer, like you can't see it as much. I feel like you can't really see it too well. And I tried putting a little bit more and I feel like it makes me look white in that area or more glittery, not in a good way. So, not sure if I like that one. Okay, I'm going to rub this off on a paper towel. Let's try the other one on the other side. This one. That's a little bit closer to my skin tone, so maybe that'll work better. Whoa! Okay, this one's uh, more shimmery. <laughs> I think I put too much on, but I can definitely see it. I feel like this almost sits on my wrinkles, you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this one, just, or it could be the brush too. I usually use a fan brush to highlight so I don't get it everywhere, but okay. Moving right along, um, NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum. This is a foundation. I obviously can't put that on right now. Um, I'm wearing my regular Too Faced mixed in with L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. So I'll try this another time, this NARS Velvet Matte Foundation. Okay, and the last sample is by Guerlain. It's the Meteorites uh, Pearl Base. So that's this last one here. I will tell you, I open this up ahead of time so that I can apply it um, under my foundation. This is what it looks like. It's like this liquidy substance with these pearl, pearl balls in there. This is supposed to, I believe, um, it's a primer. It's an illuminating primer, I believe. Um, it's supposed to give you a glow kind of from within and um, I was very surprised because I did I'm wearing it already under my foundation and I was very surprised that it mattified 